Hello, 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 this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to knit a new technique that I just recently <laughs> learned and I had to share it with you. So this is the one that I have done on my previous uh, tutorials. As soon as I start from up here, I go back and forth. Uh, I know for uh, people that know, don't know how to knit, they cannot see it, but for me, I'm a knitter, and unfortunately, I see the short rows. For me, they are noticeable, if, if you look at it. Yeah, and I don't like this look. Yeah. And, uh, see, the knot is coming up, because uh, the knot came from the yarn. So that's another t thing. Uh, I have several techniques how to, uh, when I'm not, I don't knot, but the yarn came out like this and I forgot to use my own technique. See, it automatically comes out for some reason, no matter how I pull it in. So you need to be very careful. And uh, these uh, angora or mohair, when you work with, they're very delicate yarn, alpaca as well. So this time I'm going to show you a new technique. Instead of doing it this way, we're going to be doing the short rows from here, here, and then uh, when we're uh, dividing the body parts. So I am already working on one, and I'm at the part that I need. Uh, I'm dividing the body parts. So I said to myself, this would be perfect to show how to do short rows. Can you see the knots? Yeah, I hate it. They all, no matter what I do, they come back out. So I don't do knots, but the yarn came out this way, and I probably I missed it. I was knitting at night, cause uh, here's another short row. It's really noticeable, and I hate it, hate it, hate it. No matter what I do, it is noticeable for me. See, which I do not like. <laughs> Yeah, here's another knot. The yarn that I bought from Russia, the bobbin came out with lots of knots. Yeah, so that's a no-no for now on. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just gonna grab my uh, project that I'm working on and I'll, I will show you how to do the short row. I already have a tutorial on how to do this. Uh, uh, technique it's super easy and I learned another technique so I'm going to share that as well usually what I do is I cast on 10 stitches and then there is a see I learned how to, how to not to do this so I will show that technique as well <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there okay so grab a cup of coffee and come and join me for the tutorial on how to knit a new technique this has been out i just learned it like i don't know two weeks ago and i am uh not even two weeks maybe 10 days maybe seven days so uh it's new to me but it's been out there and i did not know so let's get started okay so i am at the part where i'm going to divide the body parts this is going to be for extra small so this is what I do. I knit, I knit, I do my increases until I have seven inches long. Okay, I usually count the collar. If I count it, then it's gonna be too long. So uh, I count it from here. I measure it from here and then seven inches. And I don't wanna make it bigger than it would be fitting a small size. If it's seven and over, up to seven, seven and a half inches, it fits a small size. This is going to be for an extra small, okay? You know what I mean? So let me just show you. Okay, the yarn that I'm using, I bought this from Star. Okay, here we go. Gallery Yarns in New York City. Okay, you can find all her information. Her here, her website is not working at the moment. Uh, I usually email her. Well, that's how I started. I started with the website and I started emailing. So I paid a lot of money for this one cone of 100% white Angora yarn. But 
I noticed that uh, it's thinner than the ones that I used to buy from her because I still have those in my stash. I'm having a hard time using it because they're gorgeous. They're very halo and they're thick. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the yarn. And being thin, I thought this was thick, so I did not use another yarn. Because when I use another yarn with this, it becomes very thick. So as you can see, it's very thin, and I'm using a 4 millimeter knitting needle. See? I don't... Well, yeah, that's the thing. There shouldn't be any knots. That's the reason I buy from combs. But for some reason, see, I did not see this when I was knitting. It came out with a knot. See? And when I knit, I knit till 3 a.m., 4 a.m. I don't see, right? I just knit, knit, knit until I see, oh my goodness, there's a knot. I missed that one. Or what I usually do is I use my techniques that I already have on in my tutorials. How to... Uh, not to have knots because it just shows up terrible on your knitting see how what I mean let me just show you see it's terrible I hate it I hate the look here's another knot which I missed I just saw that one see it's so tiny it's right here yeah and it's in see another one I missed okay so let's here we are it always tries to go through the front. So I've been knitting. I didn't do any short rows, so I'm going to do my short rows, and I'm going to divide the body parts, okay? So I'm at the point where I did the front. Okay, you just continue knitting. Knit, knit, knit until you have the length that you, for the size that you're working. For extra small, I knit 7 inches long. For small, I knit 7 to 7 and a half. Uh, for medium, I knit eight, eight, up to eight, uh, medium size. And again, you need to measure, measure, measure. I do not work with stitches because the yarn always, you know, just throws you away. Okay, so I did, I knit the front and I did my increase here as usual so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab a knitting needle here and i will put the sleeve this is the sleeve okay this is the sleeve so what i'll do is i'll just uh, slide these just like this this is all i'm going to do the way to the end and I am going to grab another needle these this is number four just to uh, the needing the knitting needle that I'm using is Addy I believe it's this is the lace I bought it like I'm not gonna say two decades ago but yeah it's close it's close. It's over 10 years. Let's say it that way. Over a decade I've been using this knitting needle. And you know that copper, when you don't knit, it gives you that... Um, uh, let me see if I have one on, on. I want to show you. Uh, nope, I don't have one. Oh yeah, I do, but I, I knit, did do knitting, so it is still shiny. So it gets you this uh, weird color. And then when you start knitting it, it starts to shine. So that's how copper is. So this is copper and I really like it. It slides very nicely on my knitting needles. So I am at the point, underarm. Okay, just like this. Okay, here we go. So we're at the divide the body part right there. Okay, so I'm gonna slide that and I'm gonna pull my other number four millimeter knitting needle. This is a long one. Oops, stuck there. Let me just see. Uh, I hang my knitting needles. I don't have time to put them aside, <laughs> take them out, put them aside because I'm always using these. Okay, so I start knitting. So this is the back. We're going to do the short row on the back area only because we want that height to give that uh, comfort. Okay, but uh, 
You know what? I, sh I was supposed to knit this. Yeah. I forgot to do that. Let me just knit this because I'm supposed to knit this row and then come here, okay? I forgot to do that. Okay, let me knit this. Well, I'll just do it with you guys. I think this is number four as well. I'm just looking at it. Sometimes it says it's... Uh, uh, so See, this is how I know. So this is not a four and a half. Yeah, this is like a three and a half, I believe. Well, you know what? It is a four. Okay, I'll just knit it with this. Yeah, yeah this tool is very nice. Uh, I bought this. I think I brought, bought, yeah, I paid for this. It's plastic. It's not free. Nothing is free in this country, believe it or not. Hi! <laughs> Yeah, so I am going to knit this row. Yeah. The underarm has to be knit as well. So please don't get confused. This is the first time I'm doing it with you because I just learned this technique. So I did my increase right here and I am knitting the sleeve. Just regular knit. So I will knit and I will finish this row and I'll be right back. Well, I will finish the uh, the sleeve area. Okay, so I am almost done. I'm going to do my increase. Uh, knit one and then make one. Okay, so I am done with the sleeve. Let's just pull. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to knit the back to do that I'm just gonna grab my other knitting needle okay so here here okay your next question is are you going to do your increases on the back as well yes I am going to do my increases until I have four centimeters I'm gonna go back and forth so four centimeter four centimeter is just over two and a half inch okay or you can make it yeah two and a half inch let's say it four centimeter that's how long I'm going to be go back I'm gonna be going back and forth until I reach four centimeters so here's my marker I put it on the back here is the dividing part and then I make one okay this is how I do my increase you can do it whichever you like, how you do your increase. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put my marker here, and this way I will know I can measure it, right? Right here. And then it's going to be the underarm. This That part is going to be the underarm. So I'm just going to knit until I come to the other side of the underarm and divide the body part, okay? Just like this and then we need to divide the sleeve area as well because when we come back we're going to join from the front right when you're knitting top down raglan that's how you do it okay this fit the measurements that I gave you uh, this fits like a glove but if you want it bulky if you wanted um, more room then I would highly recommend you to knit as long as you want so you will have room so this fit is uh, the shrug that I'm knitting is for a bridal shrug uh, and uh, it has to fit like a glove. Otherwise, if the customer wants it bigger, then if she's extra small, then she needs to order a medium size or a large size. Okay. And lots of people don't know this. Like I had a customer just last week and I shipped it on Friday. She received her package on Monday she was thrilled she was getting married in October she received it because I knitted day and night for her to receive it on time and I do not charge for rush hours uh, rush I don't charge for rush fee so when she received it I don't think she tried it on because uh, when she sees she sees it she says she messaged me it's too small she ordered a small size and I have knit her a small size if you don't try it on, you will not know. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Because I only work with measurements. Okay, so I am at the end here. 
So I do my increase. Okay. Okay, from here, I'm going to grab this one as well. And then I'm going to turn around. Okay. Before I turn around, around I will put the sleeve. Okay, pull this so you won't lose it. So I will put the sleeve, this is the sleeve area, I will put this to another needle, knitting needle. And uh, let me see if I have a small one here. Let's see, here we go. I have lots of knitting needles. I keep these plastic ones. Uh, I don't like them put, uh, put resting on a, a yarn or anything. This way it's easy for me to grab them and continue knitting when I'm done with the body part. This is what I like. So uh, if, if you want to use this method, I would highly recommend. You know, so here's another knot, I believe. Yeah. Well, I haven't blocked it, so I'm going to steam block this. I don't iron on, on specially wool. It's it's it. Uh, well, I do. It depends on the yarn, right? But for these, I do steam uh, blocking, and it rests. So uh, when you steam block, uh, I know I know it's going to be hard for you to see, but I see the knit. Some uh, knit knits are not relaxed guess it, it must be with my tension when I went to the downstairs and came back I don't know something happened and I started to knit it tight or sometimes I start knitting loose we're all human being and these are old hand handmade so it's it's never going to be perfect but I try to do my best and uh, people like it most of my customers love it let's say 99.5 percent of them love it <laughs> okay so I am um uh yeah, I'll leave that on the front, and I will pull this, okay? So when I'm finished, I will just continue knitting from the, the front area. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to knit, 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 knit. So I don't do increases on the back, because I already did my increase on the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue knitting just the back area, as I just uh, divided the body part, just like this. And then we did measure. I did measure it with you. So it is seven centimeters. Let me just measure it again so you will see. So when I'm done, this is the sleeve, right? This is the back. So it's being, it's a sm extra small size. So it, it does look small, <laughs> but it is small, right? Okay. So it is seven, seven inches long. Okay. From, from I'm not counting this. Okay, while I have you all here, I'm going to do a tutorial on this area. See? Just one piece. Just love it, love it, love it. So it won't irritate your back when you're wearing it. So I'm always open to new techniques, right? And I'm always looking for new techniques, and I found this technique. So I'm just going to start knitting. Just back and forth, back and forth, and I will do my increases. As I showed you where to do my increases. Well, when I come back at the other side, I will show you how to do the increase. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished the row. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new row. And I will show you. It's just a regular uh, increase that we do. Okay, so I'm not going to knit this. Well... I could knit it, but I'm not going to knit it. Well, I need to knit it. <laughs> I need to knit it to make an increase. So this is how I do my increase until I have the length that I need, which is two, uh, four centimeter, two and a half inches. Okay, so uh, when I come to the wrong side, uh, when I come to the end, I will show you because I don't want to waste time here because it takes time and I'll be right back okay so I'm at the end and uh, here it is you can see the increase is on the previous if you look at it so I am going to knit the stitch but I'm not gonna let go and I'm gonna make an in make a stitch just like this and I'm going to knit this last stitch so I'm going to repeat this over and over until I have four centimeter. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. I moved this, didn't I? Yeah, I moved it. So I already knitted two rows. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I have knit about four centimeter, which is two and a half inches. I tried to knit as fast as I can before the sun came towards me, but uh, 
Yeah, so here we go. We're done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry. Okay. Going to join. Okay. But I need to knit on the right side, okay? So I will knit to join because I was at the wrong side. I got so excited before the sun comes closer to me. Okay, I will finish and I will be right back. Okay, so I made my increase again. That's going to be the last increase. And I am going to jump from the sleeve because I'm not going to join from the sleeve. Okay. Here we go. Here's the front. Okay. Um, what I'll do is... Okay, to do that, I need to make stitches. Okay, for this is an extra small. Usually, I don't even make um, stitches when it's extra small. But I'm going to make three. I'm just going to make three. So, to make three, this is how I make it. One. Two. And then three. Okay. And then I'm going to mark my marker on the on the second. I don't know what happened to this camera. Come on, focus. It's got blurry. Okay, I am going to mark it on the second second stitch. Okay, the reason I do that is because uh, after eight rows, I do my decrease. So that's going to be in the middle, and I get rid of uh, two stitches. So. Uh, for more information, please go into my YouTube uh, uh, on the videos. There's a top down, or you can put down, top down. So I am going to do crisscross. I don't want to get rid of one stitch. So I do crisscross just like this. I don't know why this isn't focusing. Come on, focus. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the cameras. Okay, so I knit the stitch. It's a little bit tricky, but yeah, we need to do this. Okay, and then I just continue knitting. Okay, so I'm done with the short row. So I am going to knit, and uh, yeah, so this is how you join, and then you will see the difference. I need to knit a couple of rows, and I will show you how it looks like. Ta-da! Oh my goodness, I love this method look at it i know this is a ma medium sized mannequin and uh the shrug is a uh, extra small so it's going to be small but you can see how high it is love it love it love it love it love it love it i hope you like this short tutorial i had to share it with you and uh this is the first time I'm using this technique and I just love it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified. You guys take care. Happy knitting. Bye-bye.